If anyone is giving you a hard time, let me know and I'll bite their heads off! Good to, good to hear, Jackal. And welcome, everyone, back to stream. Sorry I couldn't be here yesterday. I had to work overtime. Again. Yeah. That was a thing. But I'm here now. And today we're doing this uh, newish event. I wish. I feckin' wish. Now then, let's see. Hang on. Headphones. Cutting out. There we go. Which areas do we have left? Fog Hollow is the only one remaining. Nice. What is it with this? Nice. Let's give it a once over and head back. Entrance to Fog Hollow. Ugh, this fog is ridiculous. I can barely see anything whenever I come here. <laughs> My throat is killing me as well. You can probably thank the local factory for that. It's always belching out plumes of smog. That ends up producing more fog as well around this area. Must be hell living in this place. Moran? Oh hey, long time no see. Well, welcome! What are you doing in these parts? You didn't even call. Have I ever contacted you before I came here? You're sweating an awful lot. You not feeling well? No, 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 no. I feel perfectly fine. I must have worked too hard yesterday. That's all. Well, you certainly are a lover of hard work. Anything going on lately that I should know about? No, there's not much going on. Nothing at all, actually. Are you sure about that? You're not lying to me, are you? You're acting strangely. You seem like you're trembling. Uh, honestly, th there's nothing going on. Now that everyone knows this is the Peony Association's turf, nobody dares touch a hair on our heads. We can't thank you enough for watching over our village. No need to grovel. I'm just doing my job. We promised to guard this place, and so we will. That's what loyalty is, is it not? Loyalty. Right. You always were enamored with loyalty. At any rate, you should take it easy. You're liable to collapse at this rate. Okay, I'll be more careful. I can't quite make it out thanks to this fog. But is that the factory over there? Is that a smaller one next to it? That's new. That That's right, we expanded and created an add-on to the factory. That would certainly explain why you're overworked. What are you all producing over there? Just run-of-the-mill pharmaceuticals. If you want, we can share some. Ah! What was that? I think it came from... the warehouse. Startled by the scream, everyone rushes over to the warehouse. What the? Inside the warehouse. Dozens of people lie suspended in mid-air, dangling from the ends of different robes. What the hell? Grizzly and surreal scene enough to render anyone speechless. They all stand there momentarily in silence, stunned. Moran, the wall! The wall opposite them are crudely written words which have been scrawled using a deep crimson liquid so dark 
impossible to ascertain if it is blood or paint. Moran did this? What? Is it saying that I killed these people? Oh. All right, gang, we got a mystery on our hands. This sounds like cyberpunk music, kinda. I assume. I've never played cyberpunk. It does? You think so too? Alright, hang on. I wanna do some pulls. Let's do a poll. May the force be with me. Nope, no luck. I haven't, I haven't. Don't you know? There's a fine line between pleasure and pain. This shot will make you stronger. Nice to meet you. Ah, right. I promised to meet with my new teacher today. Don't you know? There's a fine line between pleasure and pain. Soldier OW, at your service. Armament check. I'll be part of your platoon from here on out. I may be a mass production model, but I will do my best. Soldier OW, at your service. Ah, no luck. the main cast. These two? I'm surprised. Anyone else? No? Okay. Ah, oh, but they're both S uh, LMGs. Alright, LMGs all around. I can sing anytime. Wait, do I have her equipped? Hang on, I need to check if I have her equipped. I may not have any equipment. No, I do. I can sing anytime. It's only natural that you would need my help in times like this. I feel like I've heard this voice. Alright, who do I want a shotgun? I have a lot of machine guns and rocket launchers. Are you planning on attending class, Commander? Red Hood, engage. Leave the fighting to me. Sigh. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Covers her throbbing head with both her hands. No, sitting here moping won't solve anything. Pulls out her cell phone. Oh. Hey, guys. I'm in big trouble. If it's money you're asking for, allow me to say up front, no. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything about how you're lost or you don't have any idea where you are. It's none of those. <laughs> I really am in big trouble. I've been accused of killing. Sorry, just a sec. Just got an urgent call. I've gotta go as well. Hey, wait, this is urgent. Guys? Hello? 
Alright, you knucklehead. What, do you, what did you do this time? Well, um... I've got some work to attend to. I'll be back. Something just came up for me as well. I gotta take care of this. Talk to you later. Sakura! Rosanna! Are you seriously dipping out like this? Hello? You gotta be kidding me. Droops her head down, forehead bangs on the table in front of her. Easy there, Moran. There's no need to take it out on that innocent table. <laughs> it's so unfair. Why would I kill those people out of the blue? I found some. I found out something, but I, I think it'll only make you more upset. What is it? Listen carefully. In various places around the Outer Rim, there have been reports of mass murder and internal strife. And they're pinning it all on you. What? I don't know all the details yet, but all the evidence evidently points to you, and there have been people testifying against you. This can't be happening. You don't actually believe it, do you? Of course not. How could I? But the same can't be said for everyone. These rumors have apparently already spread as far as the Ark. I don't think this is a matter which we can handle internally. I suggest you ask Sakura or Zana for assistance. I just tried to do exactly that. Apparently, they're experiencing issues as well. They seem to have their hands full. Well then, that means there's only one person we can turn to. Who? The man you care for so much. The cadet. Are they talking about me? I assume they're talking about me. Wipe them all out. Show them no mercy. That's why you don't want to get on my bad side. You know, I don't think a Thompson has a wind-up time. I think it's also a SMG. What a mess. Oh, yeah. They were talking about me. Tell me about it. If I was the only one affected by this, I could handle it. But if any of my subordinates, or the people living in areas that I oversee are affected because of these rumors, that I... that I cannot and will not endure. So... Kneels down before me, lowering her head until her forehead touches... Wow, okay, she is desperate. I'm asking. No, I'm begging you to help me prevent the Peony Association from being torn apart. To ensure those around me don't suffer needlessly. I hope that you can find it in you to trust me and help clear my name. Huh? I grasp Moran's hand and lift her back up. I trust you. <laughs> you do? You really trust me? Of course. Haha! -ha! Those words of music to my ears. I can't tell you how reassuring it is to hear you say them. Thank you so much. I knew you were a real one. Do you know what your next move is? Not really. I figured going back to Fog Hollow would be a good starting point. If I dig around and ask some questions, something is bound to come up. This is the outer rim we're talking about here. Wouldn't it be a little dangerous for just the two of us to go? <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. I didn't think that far ahead. Sakura and Rosada are pretty busy right now, though. We'll have to get help from the scavengers. Wait, who are those again? The what? Wait, who's scavenger? Wait, what squad is scavengers? I forgot. I'm not super familiar with this squad. Hey, partner. Hi. Is it just you here? Freema is zonked out in the corner as usual. Milk stepped out for a moment. Why? What's up? Small issue, which I might need your help with. Ah, an assignment, is it? Let's hear it. I fill sugar in on the situation. You're not pulling my leg, are you? What do you mean? 
You're telling me you really didn't kill those people. Of course I didn't. That entire village is under Peony Association's protection. I visit them every month. They're like family to me. How could I ever harm them, let alone murder them? What about places that aren't managed by the Peony Association? Same thing goes for those areas too. Why would I randomly harm people for no discernible reason? That's why it's so baffling that there's all this incriminating evidence against me. Why would I ever kill those people? You said that all these separate incidents occurred in a short time period, right? Right. Sounds like an investigation is in order. Alright, I'll take on this assignment. Shouldn't you contact the other members? Nope, no need. I can handle this one. I can handle this on my own. You must really be strapped for cash. <laughs> Receptive as always, partner. I've recently come across some parts that I want to add to Black Typhoon. Oh, this bike, I guess. And those parts don't come cheap. Considering what a prominent figure Moran is in the underworld, I presume that the compensation will be appropriately substantial. <laughs> Hold on a minute. The Peony Association isn't exactly flush with cash. You know that as well as I do. Let's get ready to head to the Outer Rim. I'll see you two later. Okay. Just taking a Don't bit. Don't break down too fast. It's like a bunch of shot. I'm not sure how many rounds Thompson has, but I don't think it's more than a hundred. It's like a hundred max, and that's with the crazy drop. I should start preparing for the next class. Oh hey, she dressed up. Here I am. Sugar is dressed differently than usual. Your outfit. Been a long time since I've seen you wear that. I used to dress like... I used to dress like this when I lived in the Outer Rim. You used to live in the Outer Rim. You didn't know? She had quite the reputation. Oh. Good or bad? What made you throw that old thing back on? It's comfortable for when you're operating in the Outer Rim. You're telling me that thing is comfortable? No way. Enough talking. Let's get a move on. Alright, let's go. It's always reassuring to have an old pal along for the ride. What was that? Nothing. She didn't mean anything, she didn't mean anything by it. Entrance to Outer Rim. Wait, what the? How big is this gate and how big are those guns? I'm assuming that's a fairly tall gate, which means those are like artillery guns mounted on top. As soon as we enter the Outer Rim, greeted by the sight of dead bodies piled up like lumber. Oh. Just a little more and we can get out. Clambering up to the mountain... Clambering up the mountain of corpses, reaching their hands out towards the top of the partition. Mist. We need... Mist? Those who are not clambering over the corpses, groveling on the ground on their hands and knees as if praying. A gruesome twisted scene to behold. What? What is going on? I haven't a clue, but whatever it is, it looks serious. Let's get some answers. Approach someone leaning against the partition. Oh, alright, I'll hydrate. One second.
I got a Sprite from McDonald's. I'm dead. If this doesn't stop, I'm dead. Huh? I need to hurry. I need mist. Is there mist anywhere? Suddenly bolt- the man who has been nervously biting his nails suddenly bolts upright. Do you have any mist? Mist? What is that? I need to find mist quick. I need it bad. Moran. Yes, that's who we need. What? She's the one who distributes it. Yes, that's it. Must find her. Gotta find her. Can't die. Gonna die. Walks right past us as if we were invisible. I think mist is some kind of drug. Did I hear that correctly? Or did that guy just mention my name? Let's ask someone else. Okay. A man who appears to be walking normally. We approach him, strike up a conversation. Sorry, just a moment. Yeah? Uh, are you okay? You're bleeding. A deep laceration across his stomach. Bleeding profusely. Doesn't appear to be in any pain, smiling blissfully. Don't move. Let me take care of that wound. What are you talking about? I'm perfectly fine. Wait, are you Moran? Yes, but why? Everyone, our savior has a... Moran is here. Moran, she's finally here. She's... Bleh. Cough, cough. Ha <laughs> Shouting at the top of his lungs, the man begins to vomit up blood, collapses. Surrounding people come barreling towards us. Save us, otherwise we're all dead. Please, have mercy on us. Give us the mist, please. I beg you, what is happening? Several people from the crowd reach out and claw my arms and legs. Let's use our words, everyone. Overwhelmed by the crowd. Ah! Increasingly relentless. Neither of us able to extricate ourselves from the pulsating mass of hands. Gunshot rings out. Hurry and get on. Time to get out of here. Moran, let's go. Okay. Room. We shook ourselves, we're able to escape. This is an educational experience as well. Now then, who's next? Bullseye. Did you see that? I'm strong, but my comrades are stronger. Thank you for saving me. Partner, come here. Why? Pulls me towards her. Aims her weapon at Moran. I knew from the beginning something stunk about this whole operation. What are you hiding? Not only did you drag Partner into this and put his life at risk, but you just stood there and let that crowd overtake you. Were you planning on silencing them because they mentioned your name? So you're suspicious of me, is that it? How could I not be? They all recognized you and they kept asking you to give them mist. They were practically worshipping you. That tells me you are the one distributing mist to those people. Wait. Those people kept talking about mist. But I don't even know what mist is. You expect me to believe that? I really don't know what it is. You're a liar. No, no. S something stinks. You're right about that. But it's not me. <laughs> How do you know all this? What do you mean? How do you know what mist is? Come to think of it, that's not the only suspicious thing about you. Oh, God. They're suspicious of each other. You knew that the Peony Association didn't have close... You need uh, close to enough money to pay you. 
Yet you still took on this assignment. When we saw that gruesome scene after arriving, you were the only one who wasn't rattled. Almost as if you anticipated it. Don't try and turn this against me. You're the one who nearly got partner killed. And now you're trying to justify your actions. You leave me with no choice. Just as Sugar is about to pull the trigger. Someone's hand surges from forward and stops. You? It's been a while, Sugar. Oh, hey, this guy. What do you say we put the weapons down and discuss this in a civil manner? Oh, the voice of reason. Thank you for showing up. Boy, am I glad to see that outfit again. Seeing you wearing that makes me feel ten years younger. Haha. <laughs> Sicking your underlings on me, are you? I didn't call him. How did you know I was here? You forget who I am, Moran. I'm the brain of the Peony Association. Tracking you down was easy as pie. Sugar. Moran really doesn't know anything. That's absurd. How can she not know? If anything, I'd much rather like to ask you how it is that you do know about this. I'm not at liberty to reveal that information. Sounds awfully suspicious to me. What in the world is this mist everyone keeps talking about? How come everyone is so crazy about it? This is mist. A candy in a colorful wrapper? Candy? To the average person, it might seem that way. But this is no ordinary candy. Oh, okay. Alright, next stage. The plot thickens. Just like they're dumpies. <laughs> Time to sing not on stage, but on the battlefield. This is child's play. Did you see that? I'm strong, but my comrades are stronger. What do you mean? This is an extremely dangerous narcotic. Everyone calls it mist. When you consume it, your mind goes hazy as if enveloped by a thick fog. It's apparently a euphoric experience. Does it have side effects? Like not feeling pain or anything similar? If you take too much, yes, I've heard users can become impervious to pain. You can also experience hallucinations and become aggressive. That's exactly what we saw before. Perhaps they consumed some of this stuff. Sounds probable. You see, she didn't know about any of this. Still harboring any doubts about her? Just look at her face. Surely you can tell how wrong she feels. Maybe. Sugar finally lowers her weapon. Don't think this means all my doubts are dispelled. Those junkies were demanding mist from Moran. And they all but dropped to their knees and exalted her. And lest we forget all these murder charges she's been accused of. I don't blame you. All these things you've just described... I've seen them as well. People crying while cradling dead family and friends, howling that Moran is the killer, others saying that mist can be acquired from her. Every last one of them spoke with the utmost confidence, utterly convinced of what they were saying. Moran has been with me the entire morning. No way she could have done anything here in the Outer Rim, criminal or otherwise. Precisely. She also has an alibi for the previous incidents as well. Since she was at the Peony Association the entire time. The most damning evidence against her is that message that was scrawled on the wall, which accused her of being the killer. That's only circumstantial. You're right. But be that as it may, all of these people are saying the same thing. It feels to me as if someone else is behind us, controlling them. Who could that be? 
I haven't found that out just yet. But I did find out where this mist stuff is being produced. You know the exact location? Where? Fog Hollow. The first village where you were falsely accused. And our next destination. That's where they're producing mist. What? I demand satisfaction. Fun. An aria that won't stop until the day my life ends. Is that all? Looks like you knew about this all along, sugar. Is that why you suspected Moran? Yes. Fog Hollow is Peony Association's territory. Apparently, all of this mist stuff is being produced there. Not only that, production volume has recently increased over 20-fold. And you're telling me the person overseeing this place had no clue? Any of this was happening? You'll have to excuse me if I find that a little hard to believe. I swear I didn't know. Believe me, please. Fog Hollow has always been bathed in impenetrable fog that makes it impossible to see everything. Sure, it seemed like a rough place to live, but everyone here seemed friendly enough. I trusted them, so I never considered poking my head inside the factories. I didn't want to disturb them. But you're telling me they were making this stuff the entire time? Yes, it seems that they've been using those factories to secretly produce mist. Okay, first off, let's assume this is true. It is being manufactured there. Is it being sold there as well? That hasn't been confirmed yet. It is, however, in active circulation on Darknet. That makes it difficult to discern who the suppliers are. Have you seen it being made? Not personally, but I've gotten this information from a reliable source. So you didn't see it with your own eyes. In other words, we're not 100% certain of any of this. What? So you're on the villager side? Yes, I trust them. I haven't seen anything myself, so I can't be sure of anything. I need to visit these factories and talk to the people there myself. Why go to all this trouble? How can you ask me that? What if these people are being framed, just like I am right now? I've been wrongly accused, and everyone is eyeing me with suspicion. If I don't stand up for these people, who will? I understand how strange this may appear to you, but the residents of Fog Hollow are the salt of the earth in individuals. Every day they break their backs trying to feed their families and fellow villagers. Their loyalty knows no bounds, and they wouldn't hesitate to give a stranger a shirt off their own back, even if it meant they themselves would go cold. That's why I need to see what's going on for myself. And what will you do then? If they are being framed, I'll fight alongside them to protect the village. If it turns out to be true, I will destroy that place myself. Okay, let's go and find out what's going on. Actually, partner, why don't you head back? Why? You saw what just happened back there. If I hadn't been there, you two would have been up the creek without a paddle. We're fortunate to have escaped, but there's no guarantee we'll be so lucky next time. I'm sorry, cadet. I got startled. I had no clue what was going on. I didn't know what to do. I put you in danger. Won't let it happen again. I'll protect you with my life, I promise. Very well. I trust you. Thank you. As Miranda approaches me, Sugar grabs my hand and pulls me toward her. I don't think so. 
until we get to the village and get to the bottom with all this partner stays with me okay Jin, let's go sorry Moran, but i have to sit this one out what you know i'm no fighter besides you're like a storm cloud wherever you go bad luck follows i can contribute just as much if not more from behind the scenes i'll send some other members your way you stay safe out there That's no good. Let's go. Get that shot. And of course, gotta get the passes, or vouchers, rather. All right, let's do some more stages. Oh, I don't have any of them except for these two. Wait, how is she involved in this? <laughs> some of the others I understand, but her? Sugar and I take the lead, with Moran following behind. Something I want to ask you. What is it? You look so dreadfully serious. Why are you so untrusting of Moran? What do you mean? You got really emotional back there. That's not like you. Then how am I usually? Sharp, analytical, objective, not emotional. On top of that, You're usually trying to kiss me any chance you get. <laughs> so that's how you see me? And there's one more thing. A rather... If anything, I'd much rather like to ask you how is... How is it you do know about Mist? Not at liberty to reveal that. Oh yeah, she did say that. Yes. Bog Hollow was purely Association's territory. Mist stuff being produced. Increase 20 fold. Oh, yeah, that. Hard to believe. How did you already know everything about fog, hollow, and mist? What is going on? Asking me questions I really can't answer? How do you think I know? Been to hog, hollow before? Sharp as ever. Yes, you're right. Not long ago. Gotten a request. What kind? Confidential? Fill you in later. It's related to that village, that's why I went there. But then I find out about the mist being produced. When I got there, the village you know what the villagers told me? Let me tell you something. You have no idea how dangerous this stuff is, the harm it can do to people? Of course I know. And yet you're going to continue making it? Wait. We didn't want things to be like this either. If we don't make this, we're dead. Consci conscientiousness too. Initially made so little, just enough to get by. Higher ups threatened us, demanded we make more. Didn't comply, they'd kill us all? I shouldn't have told you that. Are the Peony Associations the ones ordering you? Yes. They told you the Peony Association were the ones making them do this. They were making Mist under duress. Liars were being threatened. Man, woman, and child alike. Why didn't you stop them? If I had, I would have been sentencing that entire village to death. They were weak people being taken advantage of by the strong. I had no choice but to let it slide. After that, you and Moran came looking for me. In order to find out the truth and keep you safe, I accepted. You nearly got killed back there, so I apologized if I got a bit emotional. 
Having said that, I'm still not letting Moran off the hook just yet. I'll be keeping my eye on her. I see. No, wait. So you saw a mist being produced in the village with your own eyes? Right. Why didn't you tell Moran? Even if I told her, she wouldn't have believed me. Just the type of person she is. Once she trusts someone, she'll have faith in them until the very end. Her belief in those people will never waver until she sees it for herself. Don't break down too fast. Don't worry, everyone will get their turn to die. I was just getting in for the group. You in a second. Give me just a second. Who's next? Reloading. Easy peasy. Just like always. Is that all? Time I bring this class to a close. Don't worry, everyone will get their turn to die. That's why you don't want to get on my bad side. Plot thickens, as they say. We're almost there. Once we pass through this area... Moran, is that you? Yes. Please, can you give me some mist? I'll die without it. Is this what you're looking for? The mist that Jin showed us earlier. Yes, that's it. Moran, what are you... As I step forward to stop Moran, Sugar intervenes. Hold on, let's just watch for a moment. Okay? Just one. One little hit is all I need. Like that one you're holding. Please, can I have it? I'm begging you. Sure, I can give it to you. But in return, gotta answer a question for me. Anything. A lot of prying eyes and ears here, though. Let's go somewhere quiet. Leads us to a sketchy alley. Here, take it. Thank you, thank you. Time for my question. Hey. Yes? You're no junkie. You've never tried mist before, have you? What are you... I can tell by looking at your eyes. I've seen people who are hooked on mist. Their eyes are as blank as a corpse... Are, are as blank as, corpse, as a corpse's? Yours, on the other hand, are crystal clear. Oh, what kind of claptrap is that? Punches a hole through the wall next to the guy's head. Ah! Don't kill me! What? Afraid that I'll hurt you? Or worse? That doesn't make any sense either. All the others who were jonesing for a fix couldn't care less about their well-being. They rushed in headlong, asking for mist. Uh, uh... Which brings me to my question. Who are this stuff? You look like someone's underling. Who the hell ordered you to do all this? I can't say, no? Maybe you just need a little convincing. Attempts to stifle the sound of his phone. Vibrations continue. Hand it over. No, please. Hey, partner, catch. What the? When did you? I catch the phone. Hey, what are you doing? How could you bungle this so badly? All I said was that I needed some more time. And yet you're incapable of carrying out even the simplest of orders. Now you made a mess of everything. You've embarrassed me and you broke your promise. Your life is forfeit. Ah. Actually, you have a son, don't you? Perhaps he will fare better than his pathetic father. You can take a small amount of solace in that. Reads the messages, then... 
Sixo, you dirty, rotten son of a bitch. Sixo? Is that a bomb? Get down. Explosion? Man is no more. Wait, did he have a bomb on him? Today sure isn't your lucky day. Don't worry, everyone will get there till we die. Reloading. No. <laughs> Who's next? What? Listen. Sorry to break it to you, but this is the end. Destroy them all. Shit, what the hell? <laughs> Did you see that? I'm strong, but my comrades are stronger. Yo, what kind of berserker mode was that? Thanks to Moran and Sugar springing into action, we were able to evade the explosion just barely. Vet, you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fine. Thanks to you. Thank goodness. Who was that guy? His body had been rigged with explosives. He brought us here so he could blow himself up and take us with him. I don't think that's it. He seemed just as surprised as us when that beeping started. Besides, I barely put any pressure on him, he was already begging for his life. Hardly the type to be a suicide bomber. If that had been his aim, he could have done it as soon as he brought us here. Hmm. The phone? Well darn. Considering that you read this message, must mean you're still alive. What? Useless trash that man was, failing me even in death. You the one responsible? I'm not sure, is this the one? I show the messages? Yeah. Same rip sender from our dearly departed friend's phone? The exact same. Sixo is the one responsible for this. I've heard that name before. Not, but you're not sure? No, it sounds familiar. I'm not positive. Allow me to fill you in. Deeply involved in the dark net, rumors going around she may be the master. Why would someone like her attack us? Good question. Maybe she's trying to stop us from reaching Fog Hollow. What makes you think that? I don't really have a reason. Just a gut feeling. At any rate, let's hurry and get there. <clears throat> fog Hollow. Thick fog enshrouds the entire village to the extent we can barely see three feet in front of you. But when we enter, save me. Oh, oh, they're shooting. Sounds of gunfire. Oh, come on. Come, let's get started. I have to do some quick maintenance. Give me just a second. That's why you don't want to get on my bad side. I swear that was like going full auto with like a fucking sniper rifle. Armed residents approach those who have been gunned down, looting the bodies from mist. Approaches them silently. Snatches the mist from them. The armed residents around us. Give it back. Our lives depend on it. Try to abscond with it? Did you make this yourselves? Here in this village? Yeah? Why? Why would you do such a thing? You ordered us to. What do you mean? I would have never issued such an order. How do you know Sixo? Fess up. So you already know. I'll tell you how I know her. Our entire village is being 
held hostage? Using that mist you're holding against us, why didn't you say anything? Telling you wouldn't have changed anything. How could you be so sure? You didn't even try. We want to stay alive, we need to produce mist every day. It's not that much, so leave us be. Is that what you would have us say to you? Six caught us making mist. Blackmailed us ever since, forcing us to produce more and more. You have to help us. We said that. Do you really think you have come to our aid? Of course I would have. You are all under the protection of the Peony Association. We value loyalty above all else. Betrayal is not in our vocabulary. If only you had reached out before it came to this. Before betraying us. I would have helped you. Somehow. You remember the factory? Where you saw all those people? Don't tell me. That's right. They were used as an example. To show us what would happen. If we request help or fail to meet quota. We were so scared. So all of this is because of Sixo? Leave the mist here and leave. If we can't meet our quota, we're all dead. Absolutely not. I can't do that. It's because of this poison that the entire outer rim is in chaos. And you want to continue peddling it? Get rid of all of it, right now. If you don't, I will. Unarmed residents rush out and cling to Moran. Please save us. We have to do this to survive. Sixo even planted explosives throughout the village. Oh damn, we need one hell of a bomb squad. Please. I don't want to die. You fools. If you're not above begging, why didn't you ask for help sooner? I could have helped you, and those people wouldn't have had to die. Why? Why? Please, please spare us. Let go of it. I said let go. Sugar, what are you doing? You can't take it. Leave these people alone. Wipe them all out. Show them no mercy. Jesus. <laughs> Red really just goes crazy with that thing. That's why you don't want to get on my bad side. How is she MVP? You said it yourself. If you found out that mist was being made here, you'd destroy this factory and everything in it. I remember. And now that I've confirmed what's happening, that's exactly what I'll do. Yes. That's what I must do. Tear everything down with tear down everything with my own hands. I won't let you Okay, what's going on now? If you're intent on destroying this place, you'll have to go through me. You think I'm kidding, try me. What is this? Why are you taking it this far? I could ask you the same thing. We protected these people and they thanked us by stabbing us in the back. As we speak, they're synthesizing a drug that kills people. Do you know how many lives are being ruined because of this, Mist? You've seen what it does to people. This is beyond the pale. The time for judgment has come to Fog Hollow. People here are powerless. Many people here did not want to produce Mist. But their lives were being threatened. They had no choice but to make it. If you destroy this place, what do you think will happen to these people? They're already on the edge of the precipice. If you go through with this, you'll be tying the noose around their necks and throwing them off. If that is what must happen, so be it. They've left me with no choice. A crime is a crime. Countless innocents have suffered because of these people. If you want to solve this problem, we'll have to tear it out by the roots. I know this is the right decision. No, you don't. You don't know that. You haven't had any dealings with Sixo. Nothing you say will change my mind. 
Oh boy. It's a it's your classic Mexican standoff. Come to me. This way. Oh hell. Oh fucking hell. Why 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 Oh, I'm terrible with these kinds of decisions. I'll go with Moran. I trust Moran. I have faith in her decision. Thank you, cadet. I'm sorry to hear you say that. Charge at each other? Everyone, into the factory! Alright, they're slugging it out. Riddled with cuts and bruises, both large and small. Winded, attempting to catch their breath. As I try to break up the altercation. Explosion? From the factory? Grabs the engine, zooms off on her bike. We have to follow her. Cadet, wait. Give me just a minute. My leg is giving me a bit of trouble. You're bleeding. I'm fine. A little patching up would be as good as new. Tend to her injury. Can't thank you enough. Looks like I owe you another one. You haven't changed your mind about destroying the village? Nope. Well, to be exact, I don't have a choice. I'm a member of Underworld Queen, the boss of the Peony Association. I know these people probably had little choice in the matter. I can empathize all too well. They didn't know where else to turn and they got scared. How could I not have noticed? For once, I've watched them as they went about their lives, but no matter how much I care for them, some things cannot be excused. Damning entire swaths of people in order to save yourself? Such a thing is unforgivable. Maybe things would have been different. They told me about this sooner, but it's too late to turn back now. Cadet, our members will be arriving soon. When they do a head, I plan to head straight to the factory. Let me ask you one more favor. What is it? I would like, if you could, to go and talk to Sugar. Been acting suspiciously before we even arrived at the Outer Rim. Concerned about her for a while now. See it clear as day. Something going on between her and Sixo. Whenever the name gets mentioned, she demurs. Might be why she's gotten so wrapped up in this thing emotionally. Since my stance in this matter is in opposition, there's no way I can objectively try to figure out what she's thinking or what her intentions are. That's not the case with you, though. I don't want to fight with my comrades. She saved you earlier. Incredibly grateful to her for that. I'm begging you. Talk to her. At least until our reinforcements arrive. I will. Thank you. Sugar is talking to some of the injured villagers. Huh? Partner? What are you doing here? I was worried. Are these people injured because of that explosion earlier? Yes. Like they told us, this, play this village has been rigged with explosives. Oh yeah, that's right. When the bomb of the factory went off, these people got caught in the disaster. You're hurt too. It's okay, just a superficial scratch from Moran. No, it's not okay. I attend to her wound. Have you changed your mind regarding what we should do to this village? Absolutely not, I still feel the same. Does this have anything to do with Sixo by any chance? It was that obvious, huh? 
Yes, you're right. Received request from Sixo. Protect Fog Hollow. What? You remember how I mentioned I used to live in the Outer Rim? I was doing a lot of work for Sixo. Dangerous assignments at that. When was this? A while back. When I was in a different squad, back then, there wasn't a person in the Outer Rim who didn't know who I was. But I wasn't renowned, I was infamous. People in the streets avoided me. Rumors, wherever I went, bad things were sure to follow. Hard to imagine you like that. That was the old me. I didn't think for myself, I simply followed orders like a mindless machine. Until one day, I heard something terrible had happened because of my actions. You monster! You said we were family, you said you would protect us. How could you do this? What are you going to do now, huh? Answer me. After that, I washed my hands of Sixo. I didn't want to have to recall any more memories like that one. Then why did you accept the request? My plan was to take a calculated risk and try to dig up some information on Sixo. I figured I could at least turn up something on her, but instead... I got myself involved in another gigantic mess like I always do. She knew perfectly well this is how I would react to what was going on here. She had everything planned out in advance. She's the one who asked me to wear this outfit. You and Moran have mentioned this outfit several times. It's what, uh, it's what I always wore back when I was operating in the Outer Rim. The instant anyone saw these clothes, they knew to stay away. A scarlet letter, a marker, letting everyone know the sins I'd committed. Sixo wants to remind me of what I did. She doesn't want me to forget how big a part I played in all of it. That's why I want to stop Moran from doing this. Once a sin has been committed, it can never be undone. You can repent, you can regret, but you can never truly go back to the way you were. Miss, Moran is here. Partner. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. Stay back. Oh, bot thickens. I want to know how this ends. Did I click the wrong one? Oh yeah, I did. Alright, you got me. Alright, let's see how the story ends. The prelude to the battlefield has begun. See that? Beast. I'm strong, but my comrades are stronger. Alright. Let's see how the story ends. Sound of heavy footsteps can be heard. Closer and closer. Once stop once they arrive at the entrance. Inside this factory are those who have spit upon our loyalty to them, out of selfish, selfish self-preservation, created a dangerous drug called Mist, allowed it to pro proliferate through the Outer Rim. Did all this despite them knowing what happens to those who consume it. Because of them, the Outer Rim has descended into chaos. Because of them, that innocent people are suffering. They've crossed the line. For that, they must be punished. 
take Fog Hollow and burn it to the ground. As always, there is no plan. Knock down all those who would stand in our way. Take what those people cherish and demolish it. Show them what happens to those who cross us. Show them what happens when you seek to disrupt the orders. Ensure they never forget. Yes! Let's go. Whoosh! Whoosh? Why the whoosh? Rush into the factory. At that moment... Sugar, step aside. I don't want to fight you, nor I with you. But I can't let you destroy these people's homes. In order to protect this place, I intend to follow those orders. I told you, we have to pull the roots in order to get rid of the rot. This is how the underworld operates. Sorry to break it to you, but I, also, but I turned my back on all that long ago. Those rules don't sit particularly well with me. You're throwing the baby out with the bathwater. You've made it so those who can't defend themselves are guaranteed to die. What are they supposed to do? Do you think I'm doing this because I want to? This place was under Peony Association's protection. I trusted these people. I thought they were loyal to us. But instead, they go and do this. Don't you remember? There was a similar incident before, in the Outer Rim. Back then, we held back. We didn't pull evil out by the root. And everything fell to pieces. You have no idea how I feel. Moran. Fog Hollow is already under Sixo's control. On top of that, we confirmed that mist is being produced here. You really think she'll just pack up her things and go? That she'll ever leave this place alone? You seem to be well acquainted with her. You should know better than anyone what she'll do. Everyone, burn it all down. Roger. I won't let you do that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't worry, everyone will get their turn to die. Let's have a Pay attention in class. Game of life ends. Did you see that? I'm strong, but my comrades are stronger. A day has passed. They just gotta jump. Well, what happened? Reports indicate that Fog Hollow, a settlement inside the Outer Rim, has been decimated practically overnight. Suspect has been determined to be a high-ranking criminal leading a violent organization called the Peony Association. Suspected of attempting to destroy evidence related to production of dangerous drugs. Central government is conducting investigation. Recall the events of the previous day. Sugar was overpowered by Moran and the members of the association. Rushed her to the hospital, unable to see how things, everything panned out. Moran dealt swift justice to Fog Hall according to the mandates of the underworld. The text I sent to Moran yesterday still shows as unread. Should I head to the Peony Association? I should head to the Peony Association. We were waiting for you to show up. It's been a while. Welcome, mister. Why are you guys here? Where's Moran? Mustang wanted to see her. Do you know when she'll be back? Hard to say. Even Mustang is having some difficulty covering up this incident. Not sure whether the information was accidentally leaked or done so intentionally. It's even reached the Ark. You saw the news, didn't you? I did. We've confirmed that Sixo was the one who framed Moran and besmirched her name. But why? Fog Hollow was Peony Association's territory, and it was the only place where mist could be produced. Perhaps her greed got the best of her, and she wanted to get Moran out of the picture so she could have it all for herself. 
the mist is even more dangerous than we thought. It's highly addictive. People everywhere begging for it. Any cure? None that we know of so far. Addicts causing trouble all over the Outer Rim. You saw a taste of it yourself when you went there. People experience hallucinations, aggressive, impervious to pain, murderers, and the salts have skyrocketed. This is bad. To be frank, if this continues, I have a bad feeling that we might have to dispose of those who are addicted in order to regain a semblance of order. If it comes down to that, we have plenty of addicts to deal with. If we don't do anything, the damage done to the Outer Rim will be tremendous. Considering discussing with Mustang potential ways to isolate the addicts. I think about the people affected by mist. Separating them sounds like the best option. Have you found anything about Six O's whereabouts? No. We've searched everywhere. Haven't found so much as a single clue. Quite skilled, but getting rid of any incriminating evidence and tampering with information. So we can't make heads or tails of what's true or false. As a result, the Peony Association has hit rock bottom. What? You mean their reputation? Apparently it has a hand to play when it comes to the media. People take the news at face value, don't ask any questions. Because of that, Moran has been made out to be a psychotic who destroyed Fog Hollow mere merely for her own and the association's benefit. No one has any idea what the truth is. They don't have any desire to find out. But we can't just leave it like this. A flagrant assault on Underworld Queen's turf, should the Peony Association fall, will have a significant impact on Underworld Queen. That is why we are making our move. What are you gonna do? Isn't it obvious? Track 6 down, make her regret the day she was ever born. Give her a taste of underworld justice. Administer it nice and slowly. Uh, unfortunately, there is one final cutscene. But I have to complete every single hard stage first. There's always one final cutscene at the very end of the hard stages. Hard... Stage 112. Always. But that will unlock for another two days. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about that right now. And I've already used up all my things. I completed the main story. There's only that one small thing left. these things. Alright. May the force be with me. God damn it. It's a 60% chance. 61% chance of getting an SSR. And I fail that. What the hell? What is this? You're lucky to have a Nikkei like me who knows what she's doing. Celine. SMG? I don't think I've encountered her in the story yet. Where is she? Ah, uh, here. Infinity Rail. Ah! Lisa Rymold. Don't know that name. What's next? Earth is taking so long. Come back or I'm leaving. Nah, don't know. The, don't know the name. The voice doesn't sound particularly familiar. 
where is she? Right down here. Boy. Samantha Berman. Ugh, oh, I know that name. It sounds familiar. Hey, if you called me out here from nothing, the least you could do is dance for me. I'll never see the inside of a courtroom. <laughs> My enforcers would take everyone out before anything went to trial. Samantha Berman. I swear I've heard that name. All right, I'm feeling like a bit more GeoGuessr. All right, let me just get the full screen. Okay. And voila. Ah, uh, 24,700. Alright, I feel like we're in North America. Highland Business Park. Can't make anything out from the license plates. Private street. All right, let's go this way. Copiers, faxers, scan. Sonic security cameras. I saw. Thought I saw an American flag. Seems I was mistaken. Alright, let's go this way. Garage doors of Lincoln? Wait, 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 wait. I see an address. I see an address. I see an address. Lincoln, Nebraska. Lincoln. North 33rd. Wait, 10th Street, 13th, 48th, 40th, 33rd. Wait, South 33rd. Okay, North 33rd. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, I might be able to pinpoint this. Y Street. Y Street? Wait, T Street, U Street, TBWX, Orchard, wait, where is it, where is it, where? Apple Street, this is Y Street, XYZ, YZ, oh, Y Street, North 33rd, Y Street, Garage, oh, hang on, where was my start point, where was my start point? Hang on, what's, is this still... Okay, near the corner of Apple and North 33rd. Across from the Lumber Place.
Overland Trail. I'm like, I'm like right here, right here. I'm like right there. Okay, wait, let me a bit closer. Here. A three yards. <laughs> Pinpointed within three yards. Oh, hang on. I need to update the stream title. Geography with Jonesy. Look at that, three yards. Ah, oh, I should have picked a little bit lower. Oh well, I got the full 5,000, that makes, that, that, that's what matters. Hydrate? All right. More Sprite. Oh, that was amazing. Is three yards your new record? No, it is not. I actually got within one yard. One time I managed to get within one yard. Wait, this has got to be Europe, but where exactly? Wait, why is it not letting me go backward? Come on. It legit isn't letting me go backward. Okay, hang on. Unser, gratis, zoom. That looks like German. But this sign here looks a bit more like French. Uh, I guess I'll head this way. I can see a website, but it's... I can't make it... Oh, wait. CH. CH. Not CH. Chechia? No. Wait. Where else? CH. Oh, oh. Wait. Here we go. It's gotta be. They kind of look German to me, but, you know. Oh, wait, back one? Industry gas work. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> USAautos.ch, like... Alright, I'm fairly certain this is Chechia. I guess Prague. Wait, where? Switzerland? Wait, it did, it said dot ch. I was being lied to. I see a flag. I think this is Australia. Rotary Park. 
beachside. Melbourne. The city, not the water. Hey! Not the worst. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I don't recognize the vegetation. I think I saw something in the distance over here. Wait, wait, what's this? What's this? There's a sign. There's a sign. Wait, wait, wait. Somewhere here. Southeast Asia. It looks like Thailand? Uh, I'm gonna guess here. Oh god, it was India. Oh, uh, the letters look kind of similar on that one sign I saw. The hell is this? The American Southwest? Wait, I think I saw a sign. could be wrong. I thought I saw a sign. Wait. Main Road Bottle Store. Granite Tops and Tombstone? Wait. Is this a sign? Kilometer? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I'm just winging it today. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah. That first one led me to a false sense of security. Hang on a second. I gotta look that up. Dot ch. What? Seriously? Ch is the country code for Switzerland? Oh, come on. What the hell? Oh my god. Why? <laughs> Why is it Switzerland? Well, you... Okay, um, looks like Mandarin or something. I'm guessing China? Maybe Taiwan? Uh, I'm not sure though. And unfortunately, I can't read the language to figure out otherwise. I saw like a city name or something, like something like a big name like Taipei or something. I would know if it was like Taiwan or China. Like Beijing, Canton. Or wait, a flag. I could look for a flag. Wait, 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 wait. Go back one step. Oh, I could also look for a flag. I could also look for a flag. Ah, oh, goddammit. Wait, wait, back, 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 back. Wait, wait. Any sort of, like, anything indicating the, the country. Oh, Taiwan. It's Taiwan. .tw. Oh, snap! I was actually close. I just kind of guessed. 
13 miles. Nice. Wait, back one step. I think I know where we are. I think I know where we are. East? I don't know. I think that just describes the direction of this road. We are in Texas. But the exact location is unknown. Waco it is. San Antonio. Close enough. <laughs> Wait, 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 I saw a sign, I saw a sign. Oh god, this damn blurry ass image. Wait. Nope, can't make anything out. Yellow plates? Where is this? Wait, there's a sign on the ground here. A very blurry sign that I can't make out. Oh, hang on, street sign. Come on, load. My Laura Street? Give way. Okay, English speaking. Looking for a road sign or some sort of highway, anything. Looks like a warning. Windy roads. Be careful of debris on ground. Do people, like, does Google pay these people to just drive around with the Google car cameras strapped to the top? Should be paying more attention to flags. If there are any. High hedge. Oh. Australia, Canberra, holy sh- I was guessing! Is this? Exit court. Okay, I think we're in France. Oh, hang on, hang on. I see a sign for the A36. 
a 26. A35, A36, okay, it's along this road. Mont Bellard Center. A, 1.5 miles. Private parking, fire lane. <coughs> Is this a hotel? Pretty sure that puts it North America. <clears throat> There's a limo. Thought I saw a flag for a second. Might have been my imagination though. Private lane, no exit. Oop. Did not mean to click there. This way. No parking. That doesn't look like the USPS symbol. Go back and look at some of these signs. Stony Brook Court. I can't read anything on that bin. This might be Canada? Wait, whoop. Back. Excellent security. The eight, yeah, this is Canada. Except for you, Winnipeg, you remember what you did. Ottawa it is. Ah, Nova Scotia. <laughs> Master Hiker. 21,000, not bad. Better than that last round. Um, okay. Um, lo lo loading, okay. happening is my audio or no my is my internet down no the bitrate is fine i think i think geo guesser is having a moment uh Try and reload. Oh. Okay. Alright, I think I'm alright. It worked. I reloading the thing worked. Is this England?
Rue de Ick. No. <laughs> Is very much not England. That sign looks blank. Wait, did I see a sign? Oh no, that was just the Google thing. Ah, to hell with it. Ah! East Bidwell. Wait. I see a flag. I think that's the California flag. I see a US flag and then a bear. Alright. Question is where in California? Glassmasters. Wait, if this is a school, there should be like a sign out front telling you what or which, which school it is. Sutter Middle School. Maybe one of these businesses would be a better idea. Shot. Hey. Hey, I think those two guys are waving at the Google car. Auto care. I got lucky once because they put the address right on front, right on the door. School of Music. Smog check. Elevator. Rid Riley Street City Hall Okay, I think I'll go in this direction Right, what is this? Community Bible Church Folsom. Wait, Folsom? Hang on, isn't that up north? I've heard of Folsom, I'm sure. Fremont. California City. Wait, there's a place called California City. Where's the edge? Okay, there's the edge. Fresno. Stockton. All 
Ah, uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to guess Chico, near Chico. I'm not sure where Folsom is. Oh, I'm not too far off. Oh, so it's near Sacramento. I knew I heard of Folsom. Uh, just first impressions. No way. I just kind of went with my gut. <laughs> I didn't think I'd do that well. Oh, hell. Oh, no. All right, American Southwest, middle of nowhere, Flagstaff, Arizona. Nope, South Dakota. Okay, very snowy. Oh, oh no, I can see this guy's license plate. But I can't make anything, I can't make out what's on that left side. Alright, snowy, mountainous, I'm guessing Europe somewhere. Maybe a bit north, Latvia. <laughs> Bulgaria? Oh god, I'm terrible. <laughs> yeah, that last one did me in. Okay, I'm guessing Europe? No, wait. Is this Russia? Yeah, wait, no, it's too far. Eh, more like here. 700 miles away. At least I got the right country. Alright, palm trees. Tropical looking. Um, South America. Bolivia. <laughs> Brazil, okay, not too far off. But not my best guess. Where the hell am I? Where the hell am I? Looks like some sort of park. Oh, good, here's the street. Looks like the exit's over here. I'll head that way. Ah, some signage. Okay, this is, I think this is Japan. Maybe. Keisei bus, yeah, I think this is Japan. Japan near Sendai. It was Tokyo, of course it's actually close to Tokyo for once.
Alright, suburban. Probably US. Resident parking only. Some no sort of private neighborhood. Chicago. Nine miles. Try heading this way. Peter Langson. <clears throat> um. Hey, not bad. Austria, technically. Near Linz. Ah. Russia. It's always Russia that screws me over. <laughs> Hang on. What's this sign? Billboard. Chiosco Isola Bella. Okay, it's by the sea. Um, I'm guessing Spain, Valencia. It was Malta! Oh, no, not Malta. Sicily! Sicily! Ah, uh, I, I don't know why I thought Spanish. I thought it was Spanish. It was actually Italian. I don't know why I thought it was Spanish. This way. <clears throat> Avenue de Rambo. Is this Canada? Aret, arete, are. Wait, is this French Canada or France? Is this French Canada or France? Shell gasoline? Quebec! Wait, which way is Quebec? Toronto, Ottawa, Winnipeg. Quebec City. Three miles! Stop sign ahead, and that actually just says stop. Something is a fad. This is not the US. I have never seen that sign in the US. That's an EU plate. Wait, is this the UK? We're in the UK. No, 
No, this is okay. This is the EU. Poland? Warsaw. Nope. <laughs> How much of the world is just empty? Like, look at this. Alright, I'll head this way. Looks like there's businesses and stuff over here. Okay, I think this is the US. Catering. Looks nice. Village at city center. Chambers. Public hearing. I can't see. I can't get any closer, though. AutoZone. Vietnamese? This has got to be like California. City Hall. Alright, let's go to the City Hall. Let's follow this path to City Hall. Wait, is this snow? a flag for a second. Looking at some sign. Wait! Parks, recreation, open space. Aurora? Again, I feel like that's up north. Ah. I'll just guess near Sacramento. Colorado? I got duped. I got duped. You weren't far off there. Still, though, a Vietnamese place, like, the majority of, like, as far as I know, the majority of Vietnamese people are all, like, California. Okay, I'm guessing Southeast Asia. Wait, 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 wait. What language is that? Hang on, let me back up. One. Now... I can figure out what language that is. No, it doesn't look like... No, it's not Myanmar. Is it India again? Maybe. guessing Thailand once. No. I think it's more India. Ah! Bangladesh! Okay. Neighboring country. Ah! Uh... Europe? Europe? 
Association General de Families du 16th. Guessing France. Peugeot. Wait. Paris? Three miles. When did it turn into a... Why did it suddenly turn into a dirt road? I thought we were on a paved road the second ago. Oh. How much time passed in between those images? Blind guess, South America, Colombia, Brazil. God damn it. Wait, is this Japan? <laughs> yes, this I, this is very much Japan. You can tell from the style of buildings. I've seen enough anime. <laughs> To, like, kind of guess from the building style. Uh, here. What? Ah, oh, it's on this island? Sato Island. Alright, I'm guessing... North America... Some sort of dance studio over here. Dog grooming. All stay. The party factory? Jewelers, gemologists, appraisers. Nails and spa. I'm trying to see if I can find an address listed like right on the door like that one time. Family dollar. Big lots. <laughs> there used to be a big lots near me. Then they closed. And now that place is empty. See a Burger King? Yep, US. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Chen's? Plattsburgh? I thought that said Pittsburgh. <laughs> Hong Kong Jade Buffet. country's largest it's 
steakhouse and sushi. Interesting. What's this? Why does it just say the date? 46 degrees. That sounds chilly. Sometime last year. Oh. Not mean to go there. Packaging. Pyramid. <clears throat> Brokerage. Okay, okay, where in the fecking US are we? I could find an exact address. Just like that one time. The one time someone had, like, the state and everything on the... New York? Northern New York? You think so? Syracuse. Ah. Oh, Plattsburgh. Keep jumping past this bin. I'm trying to look at it. No, not here. Evacuation. Tsunami evacuation zone? Okay, I'm guessing Mexico or South America. It's definitely not Brazil, I don't think. Wait, what the hell? I can find like a website, a link to a website. There been any flags that I've just straight up missed? Maxis? Ever heard of that? Yeah, can I pull up alongside that truck?
Nismo Sushi. Probably just a banner. something cool looking setup thanks <laughs> glad you like it welcome to the stream I uh, hope you're doing well as you can see trying to figure out where the hell I am in GeoGuessr wait CL Columbia Chile! It's Chile! I keep forgetting. <laughs> Wait. What is Colombia then? Wait, was that the second time I guessed Colombia? CL is Chile. Wait. C CO must be Colombia then. CO is Colombia? Ah, uh, you're right. <laughs> I'll head this way. I don't quite recognize that style of architecture. I haven't been to that part of the world. Looks like there's a sign up ahead. Ah! I imagine this is Russia somewhere. I'm not gonna try and figure this out. Oh, snap! That was pretty close, actually. <laughs> okay, I, I think that's Spanish. Unfortunately, you can't really see any license plates whatsoever. That one is too far away to make out. I go back. Oh, wait. What's that say? I can't make it out. <laughs> I'm zoomed in as much as I can. line says. So we're Spanish speaking. I didn't see any flags. Chile? Alright, I'm going... 
All right, going all in based on your guess. Bolivia. Uh, a bit more north than your guess. Okay, I assume this is the U.S. It is the U.S. Now the challenge is figuring out where the hell in the states I am. Fox Valley. Appleton. Well, where the hell is Appleton? I need a state. God damn it, that narrows it down not at all. Salvation Army. There's a BP. Beer sales till midnight. Some sort of car dealership. Texas? You think Texas? Boys and Girls Club of Appleton. Appleton what? Alright, I'm going all in. Appleton, Texas. Near Austin, I'm guessing. It was not Texas. <laughs> it was Wisconsin. Oh, hell. Um, this way. Oh, 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 language, language. Okay, I'm guessing around here. Uh, no, it's not these two. Not Myanmar. I don't think it's Laos. Bangladesh? It is indeed Bangladesh. Although a bit further south and east. Barrington River, Landers Bridge. If it looks like Hindi with sharper edges, then it's Bangladesh. Oh. Bangladeshi, rather. Trailers. Oh. 
Looks like I jumped in time. look like anything in this direction. Alright, back to start. Okay, where could this be? I didn't see any... Uh, nothing that immediately gave away where I am. Go to the top of this hill. My eyes. Ah. Okay, uh, looks like the road just stretches off into the distance. Okay, looks kind of mountainous, hilly around here. Australia it is! Holy... <laughs> I guessed! How did I actually guess... How did I actually get a decent guess? I just guessed, uh, Australia! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, hell. Oh, wait. What? Where am I? Nice looking place. Danger of death keep off. Is this the US somewhere? Doesn't look like there's anything written on the bins. More sides? Ah, uh, I'm gonna guess Europe. Ah, goddamn it. Wait, Harmount Cottage. Let me jump back to start. Oh yeah, I went that way. Now let's go this way now. Ah. <laughs> they blurred out the cow's face. Yes, we have to protect the privacy of these cows. What plates are these? Scott Harmount Holdings. The country has yellow plates.
Looks like this place is under construction. Ugh, despite having a clear image, there's nothing on the side of that thing. Wait. Paramount Holdings. I thought that was actually something useful. Passing place? UK, among other places, plus English signage. Plants for sale. All right. Um, out of the way. Dumfries. Oh, it's way up there in Scotland. I was in like southern Scotland. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, it doesn't look like there's much in this direction. Hang on, I'm gonna go up this hill and see what's on the other side. Seems like a lot of the world is just a lot of nothing. Ah, I think this is Russia again. Other yellow plate countries are Colombia, Netherlands, Israel, Luxembourg. Easy to tell which one it is usually. I mean, the language between all these countries is different, I think. Um. 700 miles. Damn it, Russia! <laughs> Age, Sutherland Place. Wait, is there a flag over here? You can see a flag in the reflection, but it's like above this, past this tree. Oh, no, 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 back, 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 back. Wait, go back, go back! Marcus Square. Is this like New York or something? I feel like it's New York. To hell with it, I'm guessing New York. Dallas. Is this Greek?
Yeah, I think this is Greek. Where, where the hell is Greece again? Greece. Um. Athens. Of course it's Crete. Ah, uh, of course it had to be Crete. I got the language right, just not the right play area. Oh. I know what country we're in. Still have not gotten a single Crete, right? Okie doke. Um, which way? I feel like this way. Anything over there? I head this way. Ah, uh, oh, never mind. It's just a US flag and like a McDonald's flag. Oh yeah, I still haven't finished my fries. Maybe some sort of illustration on this wall will help. Fusion. Hair design energy. <laughs> Construction, Starbucks, Martinville Plaza? Is that what that said? Why is it not letting me go this way? Why? Fine, I guess we're heading into the parking lot. Hydrate? Alright. Getting a bit thirsty anyhow. All right, <clears throat> I forgot. I left a McFlurry. I left my McFlurry in the fridge. Go oh, to hell with it. Texas it is, I don't give a damn. Indianapolis, Indiana. Or close to it. Hoosiers mentioned. <laughs> Not my best friend. God damn it. I don't see anything in the distance. There's like no town I can get to. Just some, like, scattered buildings, like, way in the distance. Ah, what the hell? It's heading this way. Why? What? The bollards? They look kind of... Okay, let's see. Um, this side, it looks kind of 
Looks kind of like a wedge, triangular wedge. Looks like one side is has a red marking. The other side has a white marking. Yeah, one side has a red marking, one side has a white marking. It's sort of uh, a wedge, a of like a triangular wedge shape. Mostly white with this um, blackish portion on top. This is about a straight. Yeah, it's kind of flattish. view from either side of it. Bulgaria, Croatia? You said Bulgaria, you listed people put Bulgaria first, so. As it turns out, Croatia! Like on the very edge. You figured it out from the bollard? <laughs> That's amazing! Oh, wait, sign. Hang on a second. Yeah, can, I, can I, like, jump lanes? Hang on. Oh, hey, wait, there's another sign up ahead. Click! Is this Israel? I think it's Israel. Yeah, I recognize the language. 13 miles. Not exactly the biggest place in the world, so... Stop. Okay. I think this is the goods the US. Although it does say worldwide services. Open registration. Hang on, we get a close look at this sign. Oh. Baseball softball. I feel like this is the south. What license plate has like a lot of blue on it? Carolina, maybe? Complete guess? Well, I'm going with your complete guess. Charleston. No, maybe Augusta. Nope, it's Connecticut. 
Well, you got the right coastline at least. Uh, blurred out the face on that one thing. Oral crap. Norway? <laughs> you think? Wait, ah, oh, damn it, I saw a bus, but it disappeared. Sweden. Bit off. <laughs> not too far, not too far off. I mean, next country over. Alright, pretty sure this is the US. I don't recognize the plate. Oh yeah, look at that. Roadway in, sleep in. Northwest exterminator. Okay, which way? Oh, didn't mean to click. Hey, Dusk! Welcome back! Glad to see you again. the U.S. gotta be so big and so plain looking most of the time. Wait, is that a state flag? Oh, if it is, I can't tell. I see like another flag over here. Can't make out heads or tails of it. Entrance. North Chase Center. Four Lees. Does that say Georgia? Ah, oh, it was closer to Atlanta. Not my best round. Dot R O. Where is that? RU is is Russia. Romania? 
Rome? Okay, so I was right with my Romania guess. Damn you, and you're trolling. 200 miles. <clears throat> Next. Super Bottler. Wait, the plates. Strictly five minute parking? For what? Pickup? Wait, what currency is that on that sign? ACT, Australia? Is it? Alright, I'm going all in on Australia. Wait, I see it. ACT, right here. Australian Capital Territory. A. a sign. Oh. Wait, is this India? Hey! <laughs> Every time I'm in India, I, my go-to guess is Delhi. New Delhi. <laughs> It usually works out. Looks like I'm in some sort of random driveway. I feel like this is the US. Sunburst Meadow. The license plate. You know the writing system, so you can guess all major cities. Wait, 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 wait. Texas, this is Texas. San Antonio. Okay, it's Houston. It looks like my only way through is uh, this way. Which is that? Is it like up north? The Texas vanity sidewalk is nuts. <laughs> Dutch? Yeah, you know, Dutch is Netherlands. I, th I don't know why. I thought it was like Finland or something. I'm going with my gut. I think it's Finland. Hey, my gut was right. It's 
22, not bad. I think this is the US, but where? Seems my family's having quite a few visitors over. I can hear them talking. Alright, so we're in the US. Big surprise. Default world map is really America heavy? Apparently. Is it is it like just by sheer coincidence? Like is there most does does the US have like the most street view? Images for something? Community world is much better. Oh, alright. I gotta try that next. Hiram Sims Park. No, this, this, no, why, why am I going? Okay, here. It's the kind of problem you can definitely curate your way out of. <laughs> thought I saw a sign. I guess I was wrong. Decker Road. Okay, that's no help. How oh, very patriotic. I guess it's the 4th of July? Yeah, just look at this place. They got the whole, like, banners and everything. Just gotta emphasize other countries more when you set up your map. Wait, wait, wait. Coors Light. <laughs> Pontiac Trail. What the hell is this? I'm just tempted to, like, wreck it. Kentucky. Cl Michigan, close to Detroit. Oh, hell. Oh, I hate these ones. There's like nothing in either direction. How many places use dirt roads? Fucking a lot. Russia, you think? Oh, 
All right, going all in on your rush, I guess. You, I don't, I don't know if you could gotten any more far away. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Oh, that's not Paraguay. What is this? Or no, Argentina. Is this Argentina. That was literally zero points. Dorog. recognize the language. I was thinking around here, yeah. Hey, yo, it was Hungary. Buda uh, kind of close to Budapest. What is it with all these farm women? Oh, I know where we are. Just had to do a quick turn. Okay, let's see here. Pine trees? Maybe a bit further north. Lincoln, Nebraska. God feckin' damn it. It was Washington. tunnel. Oh, wait. This is Korea. North? More? Okay. Maybe not that close to Seoul. God damn it, it was way south. <laughs> Oh, here. Community maps. Community world. That was the one you said, right? Twenty-five. I swear to God, these people are cheating. One minute, 44 seconds for a full 25,000? Like, no way. <laughs> Ah, yes. Hell. 
I see not much has changed. Wait. Wait, they're driving on this side of the road? Wait, what countries drive on this side of the road? Kenya? Kenya truck? Wait, what? Oh shit! You're right! A bit further west than my guess. It's a car meta. <laughs> I need to look that up, like which which countries drive on which side of the road. community map, but it doesn't feel much different compared to just the classic. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Puente Chalcoya. I don't know. South America? Sounds Spanish. jump like way ahead but it's not letting me go more than the next further I said wait truck come back nope not that way Damn it, I can't pick... I can only pick, like, the next one up. BRB grabbing dinner? Alright. You get that dinner. Ah, oh, nothing. It's just dirty. <laughs> There's no right... Wait, no. Is that the plate? I can't get close enough. Wait, no, I'm getting closer. No, I'm not. It's... I can't see anything. You probably don't have a better view of it either. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't know, I didn't see any, like... Wait, what is that flag? What is that flag? Is that Mexico? Hey! It was Mexico. this? Russia?
Ah, I was... Yeah, I always guess near here, near Yekaterinburg. I always get, every time I get rush, I just guess near there. And I usually get within, like, this range. Oh, where the hell is this? Wait, there's a sign. God damn it, it's like worn out. Wait, there's another sign. Can I get that way? No. I wanna see what's on that sign. Oh wait, there's another sign. Chick Lyo? I don't know, is that somewhere here? Blind guess? Oh, snap! Oh, wait, no, it was in Peru. I wasn't too far off, relatively speaking. I was in the next country over. Oh, look, monkeys. It looks like they're eating some fruit on the ground. Oh, there's a bunch of monkeys. Okay, I found some writing. Now to figure out where the hell it is. Uh, no, not Cambodia. I don't feel like it's Thailand. Uh, it doesn't feel like Laos. Is it? Is it Myanmar? No, it was India. It was India. It seems both of our guesses were slightly off. I swear, it's like this region has like... Kind of similar looking, uh... Writing system, written languages. Ah, not my best round. Not my best round. All right, one last round, let's go. One last round. Looks very lakey. Lake Ridge Island. Is it like Great Lakes area or nah? I feel like it's around here, to be honest. Oh god damn it, it was way south. I wasn't far off though, I wasn't too far off. I think this is the UK. It happens to have a Lebanese cuisine. And various flags for some reason.
No vehicular access to river. Version place. Quite the collection of uh, restaurants they have here. Ah. Henley peppered. Henley, Henley. Henley. On a river, and jump farther than one spot. Cardiff Road. Well, better guess anything I got. No, it was closer to London. I heard I saw the word Cardiff and I just went for it. <laughs> oh hell. Why? Is this the feckin' Rockies? I don't think I've noticed any signs. Mountainous. Nothing around for anywhere. make things easy, some business owners should just have a sign outside that says, Attention, GeoGuessr players, you are exactly here. Can, can enjoy the easy 5,000 points. <laughs> really close all right I don't see a plate or anything wait no that might be the plate I'm not sure I'm 
You know what? Blind ass guess. Here we go. Albania. Not my worst guess. Oh, wait, there's a sign. How far forward did I go? Oh, come on. I wanted to get a look at that. Oh, wait, no, there's another one here. What language is that? Albanian plates with the red strip. Okay. Is that Hindi? Or no? Or is that Thailand? It doesn't look like Myanmar. I think this is Thailand. Little circles are usually Thai? Okay. Bangkok. Yeah. Next. Kent Road. Hang on, there's another sign. Another sign that I can't make out. We'll head back this way. Also, you now have fish and rice. Ooh. I think I had that for dinner two days ago. Hydrate? All right, all right. <clears throat> Thankfully, I have a lot of that Sprite left. Although it's not quite as fizzy or cold anymore. Feel the sheep. Something. I thought that was a sign. Perhaps a sign that I should stop playing. <clears throat> Wait. The UK? Is this? No? I just saw a left hand drive and I thought UK. No, okay, okay. Well, they drive on that side of the road. Unfortunately, I don't know how many others. You said Kenya, but this is obviously not it. Australia or New Zealand? Oh. Um... Melbourne. Nope. It was New Zealand. That was about as close as I could get. 
in Australia? 16,000. Yeah, there's noticeably a lot less US in this map. Alright. But yeah, I think I am going to call it here. Uh, thanks for stopping by, everyone. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> Honestly, it feels like mostly the same. Just not as much US. Still just as many middle of nowhere areas. <laughs> But yeah, uh, thanks for being here, everyone. Hope y'all had fun. I know I did. But yeah, thanks for being here. Thank you to anyone watching the VOD. And thank you, as always, the lovely fortune tellers watching this before I stream. Alright, uh, let's go raid, shall we? Let's go say hi to Night Fawn. Alright, hang on, I gotta... Gotta sit through this damn ad. Oh! Hey! Thanks for the follow! <laughs> glad you like. Glad you uh, enjoyed your time here. Alright, uh, the raid, raid, raid. Night fawn. But yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, remember to hydrate, you know, rest up, all that good jazz. Enjoy your meal. And peace! <laughs>